Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to view and remove access uh, for third-party apps to your Google account. So what I mean by that, let's say you want to install like a Chrome extension or a Gmail plugin, that type of thing. So like this, for example, here I have this plugin here, this download link generator for Google Drive. So when you install the plugin or the extension, you know, it wants your account information. It tells you what it's going to do or what permissions it needs. You click on continue. And now it's good to go. So for example, let's say I'm going to use this new add-on here to download a link for this file. And you can see it gives me a link there. So what happens if I want to remove access for this add-on here? All right, so if you go to this website here, which I put in the description, it's the third party apps and services under your Google account settings. And you can see what apps you have here. So here's the one I just installed. If you click on it, it tells you what it's going to do. You can see details. It connects itself to Google Drive and sees information about your Google Drive files. And you can click on Remove Access. And there's also an option to delete all connections you have. But if you do this, it tells you your account and data for this app will not be deleted. If you want to delete the data and info you shared with this app, visit that actual app itself. And the problem here is you, it's one or another. If you, if, if you were to do this one here and actually click confirm, then you go back here and this would be out of the list. And if you do this one here and you remove access and you go back, it's going to be out of the list. So I think this one works better personally just to remove access instead of just deleting the connection. So now I'm going to do this for this download link generator. So I'm going to go here remove access. Okay, it tells you kind of the same thing here. Let's confirm. It says no, no longer has access to your Google account and you'll have to redo it. And now you can see it's out of the list here. Okay, so now if we go back to this here, I'll try to run that app again. You can see it's still there because I didn't uninstall the extension. Now it tells me you need to authorize. It doesn't give me the link I need to authorize. Uh, tell it my account and check the boxes to give it permission again. So that way it kind of tells you that it's no longer authorized for your account. So once again, just go to your third party apps and services, uh, pick the app you want, decide which, you want to, which one you want to use. I kind of like the remove access one personally, but it's up to you. And then that should uh, clear it out of your account. So once again, I'll put a link for how you get to the section of your Google account, or you could also just go to your Google account and find the third party apps and services and take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.